Hey everyone, how you all doing today? Tonight. I know everyone had an exciting weekend with Area 51. A lot of people got, a few people got arrested. Um, understand that uh, uh, there was a lady who crossed the line and then we had people, hey mama, how you doing? How you doing? Then I heard that uh, just days before this event, uh, a couple of YouTubers got arrested. Uh, went on uh, on the land, past the gate. Um, they didn't say where they were at the time they were arrested. But it seems like uh, everybody, the turnout came out okay. No, Nobody got really um, too much out of hand, it seems like. Um, maybe they'll get better next year. I hope so. Um, but I'm going to read a story that... Uh, it's a legend uh, from the past, and the the skull, the crystal skull. Now, this is what it says. Now, you wonder what it is. A life-size covering of a human skull made from a single block of rock crystal. It's a clear, colorless variety of quartz. It's like acquired by uh, a museum in 1897. Uh, for, uh, uh, be an ancient Mexican object. However, the scientist re uh, research conduct by the museum has uh, established that the skull was most likely produced in the 19th century in Europe. As much of the object is not authentic pre-Columbian artifacts, but how did it enter the collection? Well, the skull was purchased by the museum from Tiffany's and Company in New York City in 1897. At the time of the purchase, the skull was said to have been brought uh, from Mexico by a Spanish officer before the French occupation. In 1863, it was sold to an English collector and acquired at his death uh, by Eugene uh, Fulbert, uh, a French he took me to later becoming the property of the Tiffany and Company. The skull was exhibited for many years at the Museum of uh, Mankind in, uh, I can't, uh, Pickley, Pickley D, something like that, uh, which uh, housed the British Museum collection. It, it is certainly uh, a permanent. Uh, display in the British Museum of uh, Welcome uh, Trust Gallery. Now, scientists uh, usually um, research a lot of this. Now, the British Museum has examined the skull several times um, between 1950 and 1990. In 1996, the collaborative project focusing on British Museums, the skull in the skull in the collection at the Museum Institute in Washington, D.C. was started. Now, contrary to the popular uh, beliefs that there is no uh, satisfactory scientific technology which can be used to accurately establish when the stone object was carved. Now, research has therefore focused on how the skull was carved when the quartz originated from and what is known about the early, oh, early history of the skull. Observation made uh, with a binocular mi microscope and a scanning um, electron microscope shows that the technology used to carve the skull uh, postdate the ancient Aztec period. Um, they're talking about back in 1500. I read this earlier. And the tool marks on the skulls are very different on those ancient uh, Mexican rock crystal objects, which is carved by hand. Now, the British Museum skull was uh, intensively worked with lathe, mount, and rotary wheels, uh, jeweler wheels, now, which were unknown in America before the arrival of Europeans. Now, Research 
also shows that the large black rock crystal suitable for the British Museum did not come from the come from a source within the Egypt trade network in Mexico. It's likely to have oriented from the source of Brazil or Madagascar. Now, the result of these research have been published in the journal Archaeology Sciences, they will align. So, this is like years ago, they were talking about when Indiana Jones movie, okay? He did, they were talking about these crystal skulls. So that thing, well, could it be alien type deal? But there, there are several different um, people uh, still wondering where I come from. Uh, do we, there other exist? Now there are large white coat skulls in a collection of Smithsonian Institute. Washington, D.C., number of large skulls in private ownership. There are also a number of smaller rock crystal skulls. Now, rock crystal skulls first began to surface in the public and public collections during the second half of the 19th century, and increasing number of large, small quartz skulls have become known as recently decades, mostly private hands. However, no such skulls have ever been reported from well-documented official archaeology uh, excavation. Uh, archives research has, in addition, produced a link between the British Museum skulls and other rock crystal skulls. Uh, the Mizzou, uh, the French uh, Museum, uh, both skulls passed through the hands of the French dealer Eugene, raising suspicions regarding their prominence. Now, why were the skulls produced? Well, is it possible to be sure that all the skulls were produced? Seeing some may, may have been produced and satisfied man in the United States and Europe in the 19th century when interest collecting the Mexican materials was in the height of others said to be examples. Uh, the colony of Mexican art uh, for churches, perhaps faces of uh, crucifies. Now, are there any generally Aztec crystal skulls? Well, it seems unlikely since no quartz crystal skulls has ever been found on any of the many uh, well documented official archaeology and ancient sites. Now, Aztec, let me move this, hold on. Um, now, the Aztec makes these kinds of objects. Now, skulls and skull imagery features Aztec arts. The time of first contact with Spanish was in 1519. They worked by Aztec, uh, uh, mixed pack, and even Mayan craftsmen and Cuban skull cover, uh, uh, Masonics, and it's displayed in Mexico Gallery of the British Museum. Skulls and imagery uh, features of Aztecs, a woman element carved, and results, uh, face felt, uh, mine, but objects are known, uh, were not produced. In a rock crystal and or white quartz quartz. There, uh, do you have? Do they have a special powers? Well, it says here, there's some who claim the crystal skulls have healing qualities, uh, energies, have uh, ability to uh, convoy uh, vital information or um, positive uh, ancient wisdom. Large quartz. The skulls have generated great interest in fabrication since the beginning of the surface uh, in the public, the public, and the private collections. Second half of the 19th century, the British Museum viewed the skull in its collection as, as a, a make a kind of artwork object with greatest interest, but with no supernatural properties. So. That's kind of interesting to know, um, but how how they're still searching for questions and answers. Hey, after all, how you doing? Oh, we got just one, two thumbs up. Cool. So, but, uh, how you how you doing after all? 
And now uh, get, uh, getting quite to the end here. Um, but uh, I think I'll do one uh, here and uh, see how everything's coming along uh, and stuff. And I thought I'd read something about the Christmas calls because a lot of things people talk about those Christmas calls in the past, if they are alien or whatnot, somebody had technology to crystal uh, do this or came from another uh, other area that nobody knows came from. But it's hard to decide and design um, anything. So, but uh, I hope everybody, uh, knowing that everybody out there in Area 51 um, did pretty well. And uh, which I can be gone and meet some of those people. I know I have one person wanting to, me to go out there. And if I did come see him, um, and stuff, he was doing autographs. They were like $100 autographs. But maybe next year or sometime in the future when they do this again and work out the kinks out next time. They know how to work kinks out and maybe find a better place uh, to do this. Um, that way, the military won't have to worry about uh, what could happen, uh, what might uh, some people would have got hurt. Um, but they seem to both sides seem to stay calm and cool. And uh, it, it's interesting that uh, uh, no one got hurt. Uh, they enjoyed it. People dressed in, uh, in different alien costume, costumes and um, but uh, it's interesting to see um, and see what happens next in our news. I see it's like interesting. A lot of news people show up. Like you said, they, they will show up. If they didn't have this, people will show up. They got business at least. Uh, they made money from this uh, alien stock. So since the guy who started it moved his uh, adventures into... Las Vegas and stuff in his band. And uh, hopefully he, he do, uh, he'll do he go next year, hopefully, or if he decides, somebody decides, uh, or do it someplace else. But uh, it's very interesting to see everyone out there. And it was nice to see uh, people out there enjoying themselves and, uh, and hopefully he kept everything clean uh, and stuff. And nobody got hurt. I know I saw in the news that uh, somebody actually got in a car accident up in Las Vegas, but it wasn't too, uh, it wasn't a bad, uh, bad accident, but somebody had to go to the hospital. But, uh, uh, so hopefully everything works out fine and uh, can get something done next year, hopefully. But, um, I don't know. But uh, I know this is uh, a Monday and uh, beginning of the last full week of September of this month. Next Monday is the last day of September. And then we're into October. All the Halloween people will come out. And uh, it's going to be a wonderful time. It's Halloween next month. And uh, we'll see what happens next year. And to next month, too. So, well, I'm going to get going uh, and stuff. Thanks for all coming, and uh, thank you for listening to the story. Those who have came and listened to the story of the Christmas Paul and the history. And the kids up there, that we kind of give them like an alien uh, story and stuff tonight. So, well, I'll talk to you all later, and thanks for all coming. And hope I see you soon. Bye now.